Hey yo, welcome back everybody. It's 5 a.m. in the morning. It's the only time I could record an episode. Let's do it before I fall asleep at like 8 a.m. and then wake up at like 5 p.m. and then don't record anything. Hey, it's better than nothing. So here we are. Possibly, I think this is the final like regular season episode. There's gonna be bonus episodes. There's always bonus episodes now. But we're gonna be fighting the last boss. The last boss, we're not including the mini bosses or the aquatic scourge, but the spirit of chaos. This is the final boss we need to fight. We need to find the spirit of purity rematch. But yeah, we need what was it? The ritual? Ritual of endings, which this one does take a little bit to craft from what I. Uh, it does take a little bit of craft from what I remember, but we might. We should have majority of this stuff. We should. But one thing we're gonna craft before. The Bast Scroll. So we need 250 Amagled Fragmentations. We're going to take a little trip to another world to fight the, uh, what the hell is his name? Guardian? Is that what? Dungeon Guardian? That's his name? Alright, the jump cut. Alright, so we're making a visit to uh, somebody's world right here. I don't know who, but they got a nice little home popping off right there. So the best way I like to do this. I just like to have an oh my god. I just like to have an opening right here it Doesn't need to be three blocks wide, but good enough. And then we're just gonna go down And we listen for the dungeon guardian I don't know how far down I can go Are we not far enough? Once we re-enter it right here there we go. All right. Hopefully we can make it all the way back up. Yeah, we're good. So he should be coming after us. He did not come after us, which is uh, always a nice thing, but it's all good. We'll just go right back down. I didn't think he would spawn right there. All right, another thing we can do is this. This is, is going to be my this is going to be my better idea. We set a spawn point. And then we're going to boom. Is he still coming? I don't think so. All right, see, this is a lot harder than I remember it being, because I farmed a bunch of them before, and I just, I just killed all of them. <laughs> there wasn't all this extra stuff we had to do. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh yeah, we got them now. We got them now. So we're just gonna kill these guys. I am rocking the nanotech, which I made on a somewhat recent stream, uh, and I replaced it. I replaced the complete set over it because i needed the complete set so yeah that's i think one more well no we have enough yeah we got enough should i do all right we'll do one more for safety all right one more just to be sure we'll use like the illustrious knives i don't know they all do a lot of damage we'll use something different here i don't even think i'm hitting it there's a pink slime down there don't worry about it uh let's tr i don't know does it do a lot of damage no nah, it doesn't seem like it does what about this i know stuff that does a, well obviously stuff that does a lot of dps will be quick i'm trying to see what's the quickest it seemed in like the celestis was the quickest i mean that doesn't seem too bad but it's the celestis come on look it's just over here one hitting this we about one hitting i accidentally dashed into him but we won't talk about it whoa i'm over here now there you go they're all dead 48 that's more than enough how do i end up over here let's make this bass scroll but really quick let's look in the nanotech you guys can look at it i know what it does uh best scroll if we don't have enough i'm gonna be enraged what are we missing we got the master ninja gear we got the book vile venom and black ink Ooh, ooh, those are kind of hard to get <laughs> well the vile venom i know exactly how to get but the ink that might take me a couple minutes that might take i might have to go back to that world we were just at uh, we're, we're going to junk because if I, the venom, boom, right here, easy, nine more of these, easy, we're done already, but the ink, man, the ink don't spawn quick, the ink, let me just make sure if that's the last thing I need, the ink doesn't spawn easily, because vanilla enemies, this late in the game, mm -mm. that just doesn't happen, we also need the quasar sigil, so that's what we're going to be replacing that, I mean, we can run, we're going to run to the ocean, and we're going to see, what happens all right we'll give it a little bit 
Should I bring a Zerg? I can't even go. We have to go to the left ocean then. Okay, so what's the closest thing I got to the left ocean? Jungle? Alright, jungle. We'll see, we'll see what happens. We'll just use the the battle horn. So what's it called? Battle cry. We'll use that, because if I use a Zerg, it might be a little bit too chaotic. But let's see what happens. We're just trying to get some little squids. Is that what they're called? Little squiddy squids. Get them to spawn in. Just only need, what, 10? That's not too bad. I got all these animals following me. I just noticed that. It's crimson, too. That's even worse. You know the, the Leviathan's gonna spawn in a thousand times. Alright, blood jellies. Coconut slime. Uh. <laughs> There's gotta be something else, man. He's got okay okay we got a pink jellyfish not exactly what i'm looking for i can't even breathe underwater it's even worse yeah this is this, is gonna, this might be a little bit harder than i thought i rarely see squids normally so for us to get uh them on top of having a hundred other mobs here and monsters here i don't think it's gonna happen in this world we're gonna have to hit up a separate world there's even fucking like worms and shit or what the hell oh <laughs> they all died i don't see yeah i don't see nothing all right i'll uh just give me a little bit i got sea urchins trying to kill me we'll be back with some ink all right doing a quick progress update i have five it's been like 10 minutes uh you know maybe there's a mod that turns up spawn rates on squids <laughs> for real though what the fuck why why out of all the ink in the game we choose squid ink or all the colors in the game. We choose squid ink because it's a scroll. Bitch, I could have used charcoal to write that scroll. You got me out here. I got a goddamn slime staff before I got 10 ink. All right, we're back home in our beautiful, beautiful home. We are still missing something. I think it's this specter bars. All right, we have more than enough stuff to create specter bars. Boom, bada, bing bass scroll hello oh there it is i still okay what am i materia transmutator do i not have that what's a materia trans what the hell is that what is that materia this right here oh my fucking god all right you know what we're gonna we're gonna just skip out on this accessory because you guys, what is, what even, okay, the, uh, a hundred, uh, <laughs> uh.
after that nice little montage, we can finally make a bass scroll. Hooray for that. Boom. There it is. Let's read it off. The strong shall hunt the weak. That is the law of nature. And my rule is law. There's a big ass space. Oh, there's a dash in between weak and that. Gives effects of master ninja gear. Allows to jump higher. Allows to jump three times. Bonus jumps can be disabled by changing visibility of the accessory. Plus 10% damage reduction. Increased melee such strong damage and crits by 15%. Attacks destroy enemy armor. Totally. Don't attacks go through tiles. Totally destroys enemy armor? Hold up. I hope that doesn't fuck with who we're about to fight. But uh, we'll see. But yeah, that was a lot of work going through that. I hope you enjoy the montage. It wasn't that bad. It actually wasn't that bad. But let's get this warding. Stop giving me hardy. I feel like ever since Juiced added in more things to reforge into what the hell are they called? Prefixes? I feel like I never get warding anymore. <laughs> that and it's always happened. I'm never I never get warding in general, honestly. It takes like quickly. I get warding, but not quickly. Holy shit. Just give me warding. Why is everything got to be purple? It makes me got to look even harder. Come on. Right there. Boom. Warding. Boom. Right there. Boom. There should be like an upgraded warding. Why does Uncle Karius have such a big space? There should be an upgraded warding. I don't know what it would be called. It would be called like... The prefix would be like super hard. That's the... That's the upgrade. It's like 8 defense instead of 4 defense. That'd be insane. That would be pretty damn insane. Because that's a lot of defense. But yeah, let's craft... The ritual, the end, was it ritual of endings? Boom, bada bing. Don't remember how to fight this boss. Uh, we learn, we always do. It's like every time I forget to fight, look, I can jump again. You see that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, let's do it. Let's run, let's run this. I'm ready to lose, honestly. First try, that's a tough task right there. That's a tough task. Whoa. Whoa! Heavy pressure protects the chaos from damage. You better get be protected. State farm, bitch. You know how it is. Where is it? E okay, we good, we good. We can teleport too. So I like to use the mount because the mount makes life so much easier. Y'all don't understand. E okay, we didn't get hit. Surprisingly. Okay, wait, hold up. We doing good. We doing good. All right. See, I don't. Honestly, I don't have a strat for dodging that. <laughs> it just happens. Dodging that just happens. We were doing so fucking good, and then I hit teleport to home on accident. Are you fucking kidding me? Really? Oh my god. It's fine. Voice crack. It's not fine. That was so stupid. <laughs> I hit teleport to home so often on accident. <sighs> it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Like, positive thoughts. Nothing but good vibes here in Nunderson's world. Except for when there aren't good vibes. Then it ain't nothing but good vibes. We get three lives for this, right? This might be an anticlimactic ending, but like I said, there's bonus episodes. Usually during bonus episodes, I like to fight bosses I haven't fought in a while, and I have an idea about a boss I want to fight. Okay, I don't remember how to dodge this. Okay, that's a good start. We can't heal. Please don't go anywhere where I can't go. I hate doing that so much because it feels like the movement in Terraria should never be that precise. <laughs> it just, I don't know. That was like really hard for me to dodge. Okay, see, this part is not too bad. It's the part after this is what I'm worried about. The part I hate the most. Right here. Oh, God. Okay. Which one is it? Which one is it? Red one? Okay. We get to use Nunderson's glove again. I hope you guys enjoy that. <laughs> it's, a it's a nice weapon for it. Okay. That's one. I don't know how many times we got to do this. I forget. Purple. God, I really should be paying attention to where I'm dodging. Because I am not looking at all about where I'm dodging. Okay. We don't have the death symbol on us. Yee! Okay. Which one is it? Purple again? No, yellow. Alright. So 
See, what I like to do, these things home onto you. I like to hit the one that I need to hit a bunch of times, and then I just focus on dodging. At least that seems like the most appropriate strat. Okay, okay. I think three more, three or four more. We're good to go. Green. We got it, we got it. Get that up there and then go up here so he comes up here. And then I can slip back underneath him. Now, remember the first time I fought this boss? It was like a 40 minute video. Man, I remember that. Good times, right? Oh, shit. I forgot about this part. Okay. Which one is it? Purple? You really gotta watch out for these fucking cubes of death. They home in so well. Alright, we good, we good, we chillin', we chillin'. I don't know where it's at. Where's the beam? Okay, that scared me because I didn't know where the hell, what direction it was coming from. We go. We still have full health. I think an eyelash just fell into my eye. Ah, ah. It hurts. Somebody help. I need a personal assistant to take the eyelash out. Dude, I'm about to hire someone. Editor? Pfft. Fuck that. Somebody needs to take these eyelashes out of my eye. Somebody blow on it. All right, hold up. All right, cyan. I think he's going to do a laser after this. Is it cyan or cyan? Ky you say cayenne pepper, right? Or do you say cayenne? See, I'm asking the real questions out here. Laser. No, no laser. You look like you want to do a laser. Green? We can do green. Alright, the next part after this is my favorite part where we just get to fucking smash his skull in. You're getting too close. I don't like this. Boom! Alright. We don't get to... I kind of want to see him live. Is this all he does? Do something cool, man. You ain't doing nothing cool. Alright, I'll just kill you. <laughs> Walk into it. It gives you a debuff. Suppression. 25 reduced. 20 something. I don't know. Whatever. We done did it, everybody. Anticlimactic. It seems like it is. It's not as bad as the Chop Shop ending where half of the footage got corrupted. And I couldn't show you my fight against Supreme Cal in that. Uh, but it's alright. <laughs> At least we beat the boss. We'll say that was one try. Ooh, look at the new mask. We'll say that was one try because I don't really count, you know, me vanishing from existence, aka teleporting to home on accident. I'm not going to count that as a death. We'll count that as a unfortunate event. We're going to keep this mask on. Still, Actually, we're taking the mask off. Wow, this armor actually looks pretty sweet. The armor looks pretty sweet when it's green. It's just like, I'm not going to... No, just take everything off. Everything off. Everything off. Put on the familiar wig. Boom, bada, bing. It's like, hold up. You're a lot older than uh, I thought you'd be when you take took your shit off. All right. So, oops. Did not mean to break that. You know what? It looks better. So, we got this and this. So, we get to do these things. These things don't matter too much. I mean, why not? Shit, let's put up damage. How do you do this? Boom. Oh, wait, no. Active. There you go. And then we go to this one. And we put, let's put up. I don't care about shield. Defense. Let's put up defense. How about that? There you go. Nice. Nice job. So, we done did it, boys and girls. We put, we did work on this boy. And I have some plans for the bonus episode. But we're not done. We ain't done yet. Y'all thought we was done. We're going to get all of these things together. I don't know if I have all of them. We're going to get all of them together, and we're going to place them under Autismo, all right? And hopefully by doing that, the council, the gnome council, council will return to their original colors. But I got to be right back because I don't, I got to pull up a wiki page. I don't remember what we're missing. All right, so it seems like we're missing two. One is the sinister acorn. Actually, hold up. Just checking. All right. Uh, and the other is golden scale. So sinister acorn we can make right now, or we can get right now. How did I end up over here? Uh, boom. Let's get, I don't know. Just might as well just buy all of this shit right now. And then let's. Uh, can we just do a timer? With a timer? I think a timer would probably be easier. I don't have any timers made right now, but we can make one. Boom. Right there. One second. So we need to. Is there any space to put it in here? Is there any space? Let's activate our light again. 
Uh, right here. <laughs> Why not? Oh, we don't have space for the statue itself. Well, we can move that. Let's try this. There you go. Activate. So, it drops from squirrel. I don't have a percentage drop, though. But it drops from squirrels. <laughs> That's how I can tell you. And the golden scale drops from sharp, sharp tooth, barracudas, and hammerheads. It's not too bad. We just got to make a good, good old trip to the aquatic depths. Okay, I have a feeling we're going to be getting a lot of these. But uh, I have no idea how long this is going to take. So uh, I'll probably jump cut until we do this one. And maybe after we do the aquatic depths one. Because I feel like it's going to take a while. All right, hello. We are back. Hello. It's like 7. It's almost 7 a.m. now. We started at like 5 during this episode. But it's the final episode. It's worth it. Hey, can you not fucking be flying around like that? Boom. We're a fish. Oh my god, he's kind of fast. What the fuck? <laughs> that boy got moves. All right, go into the water. Nice. So we can fit in one block high things apparently. Look, we can jump. Y'all like the jumping? Y'all like the? Ooh, ooh, get out of there! <laughs> Come on, outrun him. You can do it. Okay, that's enough. Y'all gotta get away. We got the best theme in the game playing right now, and then we got the sinister, sinister acorn. I don't know if I like that noise. It just sounds like a squirrel noise where they die. So, in the future, these are being... Or, uh, there's uh, abilities being added into these. This is really an enemy? A parasite? Uh, these abilities being added in. I think the squirrel can dash and it does damage. The cybernetic spear is going to be like the Metroid stuff where it drops bombs. I don't know about the other ones. But, if you want to check out some of the spoilers... Or, yeah, some of the spoilers for that on uh, Diverman Sam or the Thorium Discord. There's like a whole spoiler section that you guys can look up for the upcoming update. Which I'm very excited about the upcoming update because there's a lot of cool things coming out in it. But yeah, there's all the mounts or uh, well, mount slash transformation. They are pretty much mounts. Let's get our beautiful racks. What are they called? Display? I don't know what the hell they're called. What are they called? <laughs> You know, let's just get wood, alright? Let's get some wood. 400, right? No, that's the wrong wood. 700, right there. And then let's just make a sawmill, okay? This will be easier. Because I don't remember the name of the craft or the thing. Item frame. Oh, yeah, I totally knew that. What do we need? Six? Alright. So hopefully by us doing this, we will have more than enough uh, shit to place. I know we... I don't know. Okay, there's three gnomes. We gotta place those three gnomes somewhere. But these other gnomes, they're to finish off the gnome council. So hopefully, you know, all their beautiful, oh, that's not where I meant to go. All their beautiful colors will be back once we place it. Hello, how you guys doing? So let's go ahead. Sorry, Fury, we gotta, we gotta get rid of that. That's gotta go. So these banners, boom, bada, bing. Get rid of them. I'll, I'll just put this down here. How about, how about, how about that? Okay. And let's do item from here. Here. Hopefully this looks spaced out enough. It probably won't be, honestly. Because uh, some things just don't always work out perfectly. But we'll see. You know it. That's good enough. Alright. Boom. Cybernetic Spear. I probably should unfavor it. Should we do it in order of how we got them? I don't remember the order. I'm going to guess. Actually, let me just show you guys all of them. For people that didn't see all of them. There's that. This one I didn't really show off much, but it was during a live stream. You just buy it from the Dryad. This one you get from the Scarlet Chest, the new Chest Thorium adds. This one drops from something, I don't remember what. So I think we got this one first. And then we got the one that I'm currently wearing next. And then we got Cyberneck Spear, Amphibian Egg, Sinister Acorn, Golden Scale. There we go. There we go. Now, if I snap, all their colors should change. That was a bad snap. Hold up. Louder snap. You ready? Oh, my God. Look what just happened. So many things just happened with that powerful, powerful snap. Oh, my God. Can you see all this? Do you all see this? Hold up. Take this thing off. It's too bright. Okay. It's kind of dark now. Don't worry about it. Look at that. Oh, my oh my look at this 
It's like a color for every gnome of the gnome council. The black and the white one are here. These are the like the gnome balancers right here. This is the yin and yang. This is the yin and yang right here of the gnome council. And the sigil. It's not the nebula sigil, it's the moon lord one. Well, I, I kind of placed that one during the montage if you notice. But it's different and it's also green. You know what else is green? This shield is green too. But you know what else is actually green? The skin color of the orcs. What could that mean, right? What could that mean? I don't know. It can mean anything. Maybe you guys know in the comments, wink, wink, create the lore, wink, wink. You can't see me winking, but I'm winking in it. Kind of, it kind of hurt a little bit because that one eyelash that fell in my eye in the middle of that boss fight. All right. So that's the end, everybody. That's the end of Nundersin. Bonus episodes coming through. We're going to be fighting bosses during the bonus episode. I plan to fight the, uh, I should probably re-enable these. I plan to fight, well, it's the first one that came up, him and some other bosses we'll probably install some mods because a lot of people always want me to check out mods we'll probably install some shit and check out some bosses from there i don't know but i will see y'all in the next episode of nunderson which are bonus episodes i hope you that was a loud clap i hope you guys enjoy this episode uh nunderson not nunderson uncle carius the fishing playthrough which is the next playthrough and then after that it'll be melee or ranger we'll talk about it when we get there but I don't think I'm going to start Uncle Karius the fishing playthrough until I am repartnered. Until I'm repartnered and re-monetized, then we'll start. So I hope you guys enjoyed. My name is Gears101.